What's going on guys? My name is Renegade. Today we're here for AKW Q&A. Today we're going to be answering your questions that you guys left on my last class comparison video, as well as some questions you guys left in the Discord server. So if you guys want to ask any questions for the next episode of this, which will be this time next week, then you can leave some questions in the comment section down below, or you can tweet them to me, or you can go to my Discord server, which will be linked down in the description as well. Either way, let's get into this week's questions. Alright, so our first question this week is coming from Big... Ja, Yoti X, I don't know how to pronounce that, sorry. Uh, and he asked, or she asked, um, how long did it take you to get the Enchanted Nogath Nation House and how did you farm for it? So I have a Nogath Orb pet, I have the Crimson Orb, and what this allows me to do is kill a small amount of monsters and I get a random chance to get some valuable items that you need to get the Enchanted Norgath Nation House. So that's how I got it. Now as for how long it took me, it took me about two hours a day for about two months, I'd say, of farming that pet um, just consistently. Um, and then on top of all that, it took me about two weeks of like hardcore, like putting out like multiple hours a day into finally getting the Norgath Nation House to the Enchanted Norgath Nation House by getting the pink, pink Star Diamond of Norgath and the two Muscovites of Norgath or the other way around. I can't remember now. But either way, it took me a long time and that was how I did it. Our next question is coming from Hellspawn and they asked, are you going to farm Void High Lord? Uh, I'm in the process of doing that pretty much every day. I'm, I'm putting loads of hours into farming it. It's going to take me a while. Um, if you if you want an update on the whole uh, situation, I have been farming my orb um, for a little while now, and I have various items. I've gotten 24 totems. I've gotten uh, all three unidentified 13s. I've got 84 gems, 30 fiend tokens, 243 diamonds, 198 dark crystal shards, um, and 45 blood gems of the archfiend. I still I've gotten a single uh, Nogash shaped chocolate so far, and I've gotten like no, how do you pronounce them? Like Rogentinium thing, Majigs? I don't have any of those yet, um, and I don't have either one of the two A and B star things. I can't remember what they're called. Um, either way, I'm, I'm really like not anywhere close to getting this class yet, so it'll be a while. I've got two Elder's Bloods though, so I'm, I'm doing the dailies. So it'll be probably a couple of weeks. Uh, at very minimum, more, probably more like a couple of months at this stage. Uh, it's going to take me a while to get it, but I am farming it. I'm trying to get it as soon as I possibly can. Our next question is going from Milu. Or, oh, fuck, I always fuck up your name, dude. I'm sorry. Um, and they asked, uh, what is your favorite faction in AQW? And what he meant by this was like good, evil, Dage, Legion. Uh, Dage and Legion, the same thing. Um, Legion, Nogath, that, that's actually pretty much all of them. What's my favorite faction? Of course, I'm going with Nogath here. Um, I think I said this in the past, but I am a, I am a fan of Nogath. Um, I, I don't really have any reason. It's just his items look the coolest, I guess. And uh, he's got kind of like the coolest story behind him. Seems like every man and his dog wants to be part of Dage the Evil or in Legion or whatever. So it, it kind of, I don't know, I feel like I'm being a bit edgy by uh, liking Nogath. But at the same time, there's seats people that like Nogath as well. Um, the really edgy thing to do would be to like good, but then there's nothing in good. Like there's nothing good in good. Ha, nothing good in good. I'm hilarious. Um, they need to like make more factions and more like shit to do with the good faction because there's really like no benefit to being in good right now. Either way, I like Nogath. Our next question is coming from Mariah Kim, and they asked, when did you start playing AKW and why? So I started playing AKW in 2010, I think it was, and yeah, no, it's 2010, and I remember now, my account was created on Friday the 13th, August 2010, and I got a, actually, I got a pet with 50 ACs, like, in, like on one of those days, and it was one of the first AC, uh, first non-member pets you could get. Still got that pet today, really, really cool. Either way, um, I started playing it because some guys in my class were playing AQW and uh, I wanted to join in and they were all playing like damage dealing roles and so I was like yo I'll fucking go healer boy I'll go healer and I'll just heal you boys up and we just take down the red dragon together and uh, they were all like alright and uh, that's what we did and um, yeah uh, I, I, my first class was actually healer so yeah that's uh, that's why and that's that's, uh, that's a win this next one's from high ground and they asked, if 3 equates to 7, then how far will 100k go in AQW? Um, uh, <laughs> Tipsy Turtle asks, what are you planning on doing with the guild? Also, you're a cunt. Th th thanks, pal. Um... 
I'm planning on like just keeping it as a standard guild, I guess. Just people can hang out at the guild hub, which is currently at my house on Yurumi. Um, hopefully we can get uh, eventually weed out all the people to be like a really active group of people. Um, it would actually like really make me into AQW, I guess. That would like kind of um, help with me enjoying the game a bit more. But like, I guess it's just a, a way for people to come together and uh, just, just have a good time, I guess. That's what guilds are about, I suppose. Nothing really too special about my guild. I guess I could, I'm, I'm really looking forward to being able to like have like a group of people that I can talk to about and consult about like my videos. And so I, for example, I could be like, Look, I'm, I'm making Legion Paladin versus Legion Doom Knight. Clearly, Legion Doom Knight's a better class, but what do you guys think? You know, does Legion Paladin deserve some merit for this, or does it just deserve this? Or maybe Legion Paladin is better, and I'm just a fucking idiot. So I've, I'd be great to have, like, a, a group of people that I could consult on that, and a guild is probably the best way to do that. Also, you know, when I'm running out of questions for Q&As, I could always just ask my guild, which would be really amazing. But that would take, like, a really active group of people, so I'd have to really, you know, like, be really weeding out all the people that are inactive and such so, but yeah so that's what i'm planning to do just a normal guild and just you know talk to you guys and interact with you guys just as i would and if i was in another guild lego asks how long does it take you to usually create a video and the processes you go through so it really depends like these videos especially q a's are quite easy to make I basically, I just go through all the questions, I take screenshots of them, I put them in a folder, and then I go through the folder while commentating and just off the top of my head answer the questions. However, for something like class comparisons, I often will write a script, sometimes I don't, but for example, let's just look at the last class comparison I did. Legion, Legion Doom Knight versus uh, Classic Legion Doom Knight. That one took me about three hours to make because what I did was I went and did some testing, like some in-depth testing to see which class was faster at soloing different bosses. Now, unfortunately, I decided to pick Doom Overlord as one of the bosses to solo. And so that one took, took nine minutes on average for uh, Classic Legion Doom Knight to solo. And I had to do it three times. So I wasted 27 minutes just soloing Doom Overlord, which was one out of three bosses I chose. And so, yeah, it took me quite a while to, to do that class comparison, but it was worth it in the end. And I did have some really conclusive hard, hard evidence to support my claims. Whereas before in class comparisons, it was more just me, me being like, yeah, this one feels faster. This one feels a bit slower. Um, I guess Stone Crusher beats this class in this situation or whatever. Whereas now I can say, yes, uh, Classic Legion Doom Knight is three minutes slower. Sorry, that's just my phone. Um, Classic Legion Doom Knight is three minutes slower while soloing Doom Overlord. So clearly, Classic Legion Doom Knight starts to lack against higher health monsters, whereas New Legion Doom Knight can actually take down those bosses at a quicker, quicker rate because I have conclusive evidence to support that. So that was actually a really good thing, and I think I will do that in the future more and more. But um, generally, every other video I'd say can take between half an hour to an hour, but the class comparisons especially take a lot longer. Maria Kim also asked another question, and they said, what other games do you play besides AQW and Overwatch? So actually, I don't really play AQW all that much. Um, well, okay, I have been recently, I actually have been fucking playing it way too much. But uh, Overwatch, I've actually not been playing too much recently, um, mainly because my ping has been really bad lately, because my sister's been home fucking doing shit on Facebook and my internet's so bad that like if someone else starts doing something on the internet then my ping starts to suffer and so I can't really play competitive mode all too much. But either way, not really been playing too much Overwatch. I've been playing a lot of um, GTA recently and uh, GTA 5 that is. And also from time to time I really enjoy playing uh, Call of Duty Zombies. So that's uh, Black Ops 2 Zombies, Black Ops 3 Zombies and Infinite Warfare. Infinite Warfare gets a lot of shit for being a crap game but like I think the Zombies mode is pretty decent. It's not that bad. Um, it's definitely not as good as, as Treyarch's zombie modes, but I do think that uh, it's not as bad as some people make it out to be. But yeah, I've, I've like used to be really, really into like Black Ops 3 zombies and Black Ops 2 zombies and stuff. I uh, sunk over 1,200 hours into Black Ops 2 zombies alone, um, and then I sunk uh, 600 hours into Black Ops 3 zombies, and then I've, I've, I've spent like 20 hours on Black Ops uh, on Infinite Warfare zombies. But yeah, I'm really, really, really into zombies sometimes. Um, I've also yet to finish Doom, the new Doom. Um, I got into it, but like I got stuck on a part and now I can't get past it. But uh, you yeah, know, the new Doom is like really good and I've been trying to get back into that and trying to finish off the part that I'm stuck on um, so I can finish that game because that game is really cool. And also I tend to dabble in Warframe from time to time. Just anything that, that just suits the mood. Also Heroes of the Storm, I play that from time to time as well. I uh, My friend plays Cho and I play Gal and Cho Gal is like a two player hero. So basically one person controls the movement and like the melee type abilities and one person's like a ranged um, sniper 
not sniper, but ranged, uh, I can't remember what the term is. Um, but yeah, so, uh, I play Gal, which you just sit, I just sit back and let my friend fucking do all the heavy lifting and stuff. And I just like make plays and it's, yeah, no, it's really cool. I, I actually really like Harris of Storm from time to time as well. Just anything that really just suits the mood and what I feel like playing pretty much. And finally this week, we'll finish it up with a question from Lego, who also asked a question before. And they asked, who are some people that influenced or inspired you to do what you do? And do what you do, I presume it means YouTube. So uh, I think I've told this before, but I'll say it again. Um, my first experience, like getting really like into watching a YouTuber, was actually with Syndicate. Now there's a whole bunch of controversy and stuff that went down with him, and I don't necessarily respect him anymore after that, but... Um, you know, when he was first doing his, mainly his Minecraft videos, to be honest, um, I was, like, really into it, and I was, like, really fucking hyped whenever he uploaded, and I was, like, a, you know, as, pretty much as loyal of a subscriber as you could probably get, uh, back in the day, and it was a really cool thing, and I just enjoyed the whole, uh, you know, getting on every day, watching a video, I felt like I was watching, like, a TV show, pretty much, and, uh, he just, he, he just had, like, a really good, uh, really good charisma, and, commentating and shit and so like I was I was just really into it and uh that was that was sort of my inspiration and so it was about when I was 11 or 12 when I first started doing YouTube and uh that was sort of where it started taking off I guess now not not in terms of like numbers or anything I was just like 10 views and Minecraft videos and stuff like that but you know it just went it just went from from different different game to different game pretty much since then and uh eventually I got to AQW back in 2015 late 2014 something like that and uh yeah no i just uh i was just uploading aqw videos and and bam there wasn't really much inspiration for me doing aqw videos to be honest i sort of just saw an opportunity and took it um if there's one uh, aqw youtuber i actually watched before i made aqw videos like semi-regularly was uh Zeraldo. you know Zeraldo? yeah he's uh um he was the only aqw youtuber and still is probably the only aqw youtuber that i've actually ever like consistently watched i don't mean to offend any other aqw youtubers but i just generally just i don't enjoy watching aqw content all that much just because aqw is kind of a boring game for me and so i enjoy making the content and i enjoy like the community and stuff but i don't really enjoy watching videos on it but um zeralda was the was who i'd go to to like learn how to use classes and stuff so yeah that kind of i guess would be the inspiration for aqw videos i suppose Alright, that's going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure you leave any questions for next week's episode of AKW q and in the comment section down below, or on my Twitter, or in my Discord server. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.